All right, Black Goose TV family. So I already know when it comes to Javante Davis, Javante Tate Davis, he got Roly Romero coming up a little bit later uh, uh, in the summer. You know what I'm saying? It's not too far away. We, we, we are gearing up and closing in on the particular fight. And the reason why we're talking about Javante, talking about this fight, not only because we're all interested in seeing it and seeing whether or not Roly can actually give Javante a tough outing in the ring, but also because there's a lot of uh, 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 speculation, you know what I'm saying, that's going around uh, when it comes to Javante's future with Floyd Mayweather and Floyd Mayweather promotions, right? I dropped a video on this already where, and everyone's been talking about it when it comes to the boxing community. Um, Javante Davis has made it well known that this is his last fight on his contract. And he's also kind of put out there that he felt like, eh, I feel like they're kind of bullying me or they're trying to put me in a situation to fight Roley. He's also even went on to allude to the fact that Floyd Mayweather might be jealous of him. Floyd has responded to that, which, you know, I'll drop a video about that probably tomorrow, not tonight. But Floyd responded to that saying, well, I don't even know why he's saying that. Either way, before we get into this Black Goose TV family, answer this question for me. If Javante Davis or... Yeah, it's going to be if, because I'm not going to disrespect Roley. If Javante Davis beats Roley Romero, he's out of the contract with Floyd Mayweather Promotions. He's a free agent. Do you think there is a possibility, or how much of a possibility do you think it is that Javante Davis not only leaves Floyd Mayweather Promotions, but considers someone like a rival of Floyd and Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions? Do you think there's any possibility of Javante really saying, hey, I'm going to consider a Golden Boy Promotions offer. I'm going to consider a DeZone and Eddie Hearn offer i'm gonna consider a bob i'm in top rank offer like do you think that's a real possibility do you think all this is just smoke and mirrors and a media play and a marketing play for us to tune into the javante davis fight and also for us to talk about the javante davis fight more because if there wasn't a narrative of him leaving a narrative of him and floyd maybe having a rift we'll be talking about roly versus javante but not as much right because let's be a hundred even though javante versus roly and their you know supposed and alleged beef is fun to watch it's definitely not enough for us to continue to talk about them when it comes to boxing media. And I think it's a beautiful marketing strategy if if all this so-called, you know, uh, 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 riffraff or uh, um, disputes or disagreements within, you know, the team of Floyd and Javante Davis is really happening. It's going to have us talking about it, speculating and hoping or seeing what if. And they'll have other entities talk about it like it, Oscar de la Hoya. So y'all answer that question for me. What I'm a motherfucking do is get into the nitty gritty of this particular article because I'm interested to see what this three fight deal supposedly contains. Javante Davis offered a three fight deal, including Ryan Garcia pay per view. Um, this is from World Boxing News. According to promoter Austin De La Hoya, he wants to swoop in as Davis, uh, excuse me, swoop in as Davis's deal with Floyd Mayweather expires. Troubled waters have rocked Davis and Mayweather in recent weeks on a ma as a mandatory fight with Roley. Nears, however, Davis has yet to agree on extension with Mayweather Promotions. By the way, uh, uh, y'all. Check that video I dropped yesterday. Javante did, you know, say, hey, um, it's just about the money, man. As long as I'm, I'm I'm giving the money I want, I don't have any problem. Anyways, De La Hoya was quick to put his offer into the public domain. I'll sign him. Absolutely, De La Hoya told TMZ. I wouldn't mind making a three-fight deal with him just to make the Ryan fight happen. You believe that? Because I'm like, who's going to be the first two fights? Who the fuck you had to fight uh, uh, Javante? Tank, give me a call. Get a hold of me whenever you are free, if you are free. I'm potentially stepping on ex-opponent Floyd Mayweather's toes. Oscar De La Hoya added, I respect Mayweather. Javante Davis had a great career with Mayweather. He promoted you amazingly, but if you're free, I'm here. Let's make this fight happen with Ryan Garcia. We'll make him a lot of money. I've been in this business for 22 years, so I've promoted the big fires, including Mayweather, so I'll get him a load of money. Asking about Ryan Garcia's pre to co victory De La Hoya concluded, yeah, it's been in 15 months, man, since he's been on, so he's looking great. Hopefully he'll knock out to go, and then we can go straight to Tank. Uh, excuse me, Tank Davis, which obviously that did not happen. But Oscar De La Hoya himself is saying, "Hey man, I'll sign you. Come on over here. I'll give you a three fight deal. I'll give you the most money that you ever made. And at the end of that three fight deal, you get Ryan Garcia pay per view, and it'll be the most lucrative payday that you may ever have." That doesn't sound enticing at all to me. If I'm Javante Davis, I'm saying, "Nigga, you are trying to leverage me by trying to fight the guy who's really your guy on your promotion." If I come over to you, I'm going to be second tier, second hand to Ryan Garcia. Why would I do that? But that's me speculating. So for me, I'm like, ah, that's Oscar De La Hoya doing what he can to keep his motherfucking name in the media. But um, let me know what you guys think, Black Goose TV family. I'm not even going to be long-winded on this topic because if you want me to be 100 you want to hear my opinion on this, I think it's bullshit. I think it's Oscar De La Hoya doing his thing. Oscar De La Hoya staying in the ring. Look, I'll promote, I'll promote Javante. Anyways, I'm not even going to do all that. So 
Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think it's actually the legitimate offer? Do you think there's any chance of Javante really actually leaving Floyd Mayweather uh, and his promotional company for someone like Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions who already has someone at the same weight class that he considers his priority? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? People make bad business moves all the way, uh, um, all the time. So it can happen, but I don't see it happening. The advisors behind George, Javante Davis, they're not going to let that happen. But y'all tell me I'm wrong. Let's talk about it. Let's see what happens. Drop it in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. I'm out.